Okay, so uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm at our uh, our cabin here at Maqua Lake, a uh, beautiful northern lake. Uh, not many people are up or around, but I wanted to take this time to uh, reflect about the MELM program so far in this last uh, two months. And so it's coming to the end here, putting my ideas and reflections together for the portfolio, and thought I would share my synthesis so far of the of the residency and the readings and the assignments and and really appreciate the process because I don't think I've ever spent as much time reflecting on myself reflecting myself on on myself as a as an educator as an educational leader as a school principal as I have in these last 2 months and and as I'm putting things all together here, I think the ultimate purpose with the MELM program is to develop ourselves as agents of change. And uh, we started dabbling and looking at that in the last couple days of our residency with our change game and, and uh, talking a little bit about Fullen and, and looking at the competencies of, of school leadership. And uh, all those things that we talked about I, I felt we didn't dive deep into it however it, it really piqued my curiosity and, and interest in knowing that that is something I need to learn more about as a as a school leader as a school principal and looking forward to what the program is going to provide um, later on you know in September and, and over the next two years but I, I saw I see this the whole purpose of this program is to develop ourselves as agents of change the residency um, just develop that that foundation for ourselves to to move in that direction um, learning in, about ourselves uh, to, to reflect about ourselves and um, and looking at how we can use uh, data use information use research to help us to provide that change in the schools that we work with and the classrooms that we work with but um, I think before any of that happens though and what I, what we were uh, being taught is that we have to look within ourselves and we have to be reflective practitioners. We have to be reflective beginners uh, in order to become the lead learners that our buildings uh, need us to be. That we need to understand ourselves as learners. We have to role model that learning. And at the same time, we have to create the conditions for others to learn and to develop the human capital, to develop the social capital, so we can make the decisions that are required to make change within our schools. But uh, I know we're not there yet. I know I'm certainly not there yet. There's lots that I need to learn. Lots of books, lots that I need to read. Um, uh, Sange's and, and Follin's uh, work. And, um, and, and of course, there's other models of, of change that, that uh, we can inquire about, but I, I, I really appreciated these last two months uh, of, the, of the program. Um, I felt I've dived deep into it. I've, I've really looked within myself as a as a leader, and um, and I think that's the start. That's a start to, to grow and to get better as a leader to make the difference that we want to make within our schools, our own schools.